A seven year old boy remains in ICU one week after an accident on an elementary school playground. Zach Moore was flown to Children's Hospital Tuesday night after he was badly injured at the Cedarville Elementary Playground near Fort Smith. THV 11's Laura Monteverdi spoke with his parents. Laura, what are they saying tonight? But Don Zach remains in ICU tonight, still unable to communicate. His parents say one second he was playing on the playground with his siblings, and the next he was on the ground, a metal bench on top of him. And as he struggles to recover, his parents struggle for answers. Everything that he does in life, he attacks it. You know, he just he just has that fire about him. This photo of seven year old Zach Moore taken minutes before the devastating accident. We were there for a football game and uh, he was playing on the playground with some of his friends. While his parents didn't see what happened, an incident report says another parent found Zach trapped under a metal bench at the Cedarville Elementary Playground. He was immediately flown to Arkansas Children's Hospital with severe brain trauma and multiple skull fractures. I couldn't tell you how many times I've envisioned different scenarios of what could have happened or what did happen. Oh. Desperate for answers, the Moores filed a Freedom of Information request for a copy of the surveillance video from the day of the accident, but the Cedarville School District denied the request, saying they couldn't release it because there were other children in the video. I just want somebody to tell me that knows exactly what happened. Just tell me what happened. While the Moores wait for answers, they ask for prayers. God works his miracles every day, and you know, if he, if he wants him to come home next week, he'll come home next week. And you know, but for now, we're going to just pray that God leads the hands of these surgeons and these doctors around here to help him get the best possible care he can get. So their son, their Zach attack, as they call him, can keep on fighting. I just want him to have the opportunity to be okay, to be able to enjoy life. God, I just want him to be able to experience that. The family filed a formal complaint against the school district after the request was denied. Zach's parents say they don't blame the school or anyone else for what happened. They simply just want some closure and more information to help doctors treat their son. Don.